Hi everyone! Welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Stephen. Hello, I'm Bernice. And today's subject is leisure. 嗯，今天我们的主题是跟休闲娱乐有关哦。Today's date is October eighth, and we're going to be covering pages twenty-two to twenty-three. 嗯哼，我们今天要上第二十二页到二十四页的部分。All right, and the title for today is Board Games. Far from boring. Wow, today we're going to talk about what kind of entertainment we're going to have. Students, it's about board games, board games, and it will make you feel like it's so easy. Far from is far from boring. From the Stone Age to the present, board games bring people together. Um, students, board games are very long. They 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 are very long. All、right. When we say bring people together, it means it t- makes people do this together in one space. 对，我们让呃、uh, bring together 的意思呢，就是让所有的人大家一起坐在这个桌子旁边，然后一起来从事一些活动。So let's learn more about the history of board、okay. games. Okay. Video games are great. But there's something special about playing a board game with friends. 嗯，同学，电玩很好玩，也很多同学呢，常常呢，有时候忘记念书，都一直在玩电玩了。可是呢，还是有一些事情呢 ，special。同学放在 something 的后面作为后位修饰，我们把形容词放在这个 something。Anything, nothing 的后面，好，有一些呢很有趣、很特别的地方，尤其是有关于啊这个玩桌游这件事情，而且是跟朋友一起玩，有一些特殊的地方哦。So a lot of times we don't really know what is special. There's something special. We're still trying to identify it. We'll say there's something special about it. 嗯，为什么我们会说 there's something special？ 就是有的时候我们不是很确定这个事情呢，要用怎么样的一个形容词去修饰它，所以我们说，哎，有这么一些特殊的地方，所以用 something 这个字放在这边。So video games are any games that you can play on the TV or on your computer as long as it's on it as long as it's on a video. So also when you're playing games on your phone, that can be video games as well. But another name for that is mobile phone. M O B I I L E. 好，同学，这个 video games， 它呢，当然就是你在手机上玩啦，还是你的平板啦、电脑上都可以。那另外有一种呢，如果你是在手机上玩，我们还有另外一个讲法，就是用刚才 Stephen 老师讲的这个 mobile， 这个字就是指行动装置的意思。Board games lead to conversation. Require a sharp mind and strategy, and are just plain fun to play. 嗯哼，桌游呢，它是可以引起的一些 conversation， 人跟人之间的话题。同学，这个 lead to 就等于 cause, c a u s e， 表示导致的意思。那同时呢，玩桌游的时候也很需要 require， 就是只需要一个什么呢？ Sharp mind， 就是你的心智呢，一定要非常的灵敏，你的脑袋要很灵敏，对不对？而且你。还要策略嘛，对不对？这样才能赢啊。And are just plain fun to play， 就是说呢，玩起来非常的有趣。这个 plain 的意思就是很完全 ，completely 非常有趣的意思。So if we use what Bernice was just saying, we would say board games lead to or cause conversation. Need a sharp mind and strategy. We could also use the word plan here. And are just plain fun to play. And when we want to say that something is just really fun,、mm-hmm. a lot of times in English we just say it's just plain fun. No,、mm-hmm. there's no question about it. 对，当我们说到 plain fun 的意思，就是说，哇，这个东西就是这样子，也不用加什么其他的修饰字，就是好玩。Let's take a journey through the past and present of this popular pastime. 好，既然它这么有趣，咱们呢就来穿越这个热门消遣的游戏的古今历史旅程吧。同学可以看到这么一个字叫 journey。journey 这个字就是指这种长途的旅程。好，那 through 就是指穿越的意思。So why is it we're saying we're going through a journey right now? It's because we're going to go through a journey about the whole history of board games, and we can say go on a journey, but we can also say take a journey. 嗯哼 ，journey 这个字前面搭配的动词呢，同学除了用 take。
啊，表示去做一趟旅程之外，你也可以用 go on 这个呃片语，也是表示呢去做这个旅程。那为什么要用 through the past and present？ 就是哎，我们先要从古至今来好好的了解一下 board games 它的一些历史。All right, and then also we have the word pastime here. And what? How do you remember what this word means? How do you pass the time? How do you pass the time? How do you spend your free time? That's what a pastime is. 嗯哼，同学，这个 pastime 我们知道它中文叫消遣娱乐。那怎么样把这个字记得比较熟一点呢？同学想想看 ，past 就是指经过，或者指你花费一些时间，花时间 spend 的意思。所以你要怎么样？你如何去花时间？这就是你要透过一些消遣娱乐，看看书啦，听听音乐啦，这些。都可以是你的 pastime. Let's take a little break. One thing you need to play most board games is a set of dice. 嗯哼，其中呢有一个在玩桌游非常需要的一个 thing 一个东西呢，就是呢，哎，你要有一组的骰子。Mm -hmm. So a set of dice is a couple or a group of dice. All right. So if I want to specify how many dice there are, I could say a set of three dice or a set of two dice. Uh huh. If I want to say dice 这个字呢，骰子这个字呢，你要讲它的一个数量一个单位的时候呢，你就是用 a set of。那你可以加上呃数字在前面，比如说两个或三个。And actually, traditionally, one dice is、mm -hmm. actually one die. D I E like dead,、mm -hmm. but because in modern English we are so used to saying dice that now we often say one dice and and instead of one die. Okay, so 呢 Stephen 老师跟我们说呢，有的时候呃之前我们是说 one dice 这个一个骰子哈，那也有人说 one die D I E 这个字，不过后来呢，我慢慢就是用比较 dice 这个字，所以我们表示一个骰子，我们就说 one dice. These date back to ancient Greece, around the year fourteen hundred BC. 嗯哼，这个 these 指的是什么呢？就是刚才前面啊，这个句子所讲的 board games 这个桌游呢，它的这个历史啊，可以 date back to。同学 ，back 就是回到过去了 ，date 是日期，对不对？你的日期跑回去了，所以我们中文就是叫追溯回去，可以追溯到什么？古希腊的时代。然后那个时候的时代，大约呢 ，around 就是大约的意思，是在呃西元前，好，一千四百年。So here we see one thousand four hundred, right? But often we would just say fourteen hundred BC. But you do sometimes hear people say one thousand four hundred BC. Both are acceptable. Yeah, 啊，一千四百年前这个呃念法，西元的念法呢，有的人他是讲这个 fourteen hundred， 有的人是念 one thousand four hundred， 两个都可以的。So what does BC stand for? It stands for before Christ. Okay, so before Christ, C H R I S T, as in Jesus Christ. 嗯哼，对，这个 BC 它的缩写呢，就是 before， 就是在什么之前。那 Christ 就是呃耶稣基督。好，所以在这个之前，所以我们叫做西元前。So then, when Christ died, according to the Bible. A.D. is when after B.C. ends, and right now we are at two twenty nineteen A.D. A.D. stands for after the death of Christ. 嗯哼，对，另外一个呢，跟 B.C. 呢啊、uh, 相对的一个用法就是 A.D. 就是在啊、uh, 耶稣基督逝世之后我们用的。好，所以一个是西元前，一个是西元后。The first ones were made of stone, clay, wood, or bone. 好。最初一开始的这一个桌游呢，所以同学你看到，因为这个桌游它在这个段落里面，它一直都是复数，所以你可以看到它这边也是用 ones 来取代前面已经提过的 board games。他说呢，最初开始的那些桌游呢，它其实是 be made of stone， 就是用什么来组成，用什么来制作而成的，包含哪一些材质呢 ？stone 石头啦，还有 clay。粘土啦，接下来有木头，还有骨头，总共有这些材质。So instead of were made of, there's another word I can teach you, which is composed of. C O M P O S E. So I could also say the first ones were composed of stone, clay, wood, or bone, and it means the same thing. 
。嗯哼，另外呢 ，Stephen 老师补充的这个字叫 composed， 放在这边的话就是用 be composed of， 一样是由什么组成的。那同学不管你用 be made of 还是 be composed of， 它的意思都是一样的。那记得要用被动式哦。All right, and then here you see I listed four different types of material. In English, it's very it's very frequent for us to go upwards in our intonation, like stone, clay, wood, and the last one we go back down or bone. 嗯，好，这边呢是告诉同学在念英文句子的时候，像这个句子里面有四个很常见的这个食材，哈，这个材料。那同学在念的时候要注意一下，因为这个句子呢到最后一个字 bone 呢才是结束，所以呢语调就到这边再往下就好了，其他的就是往上偏的。However, the first board game pieces are even older. 嗯，好。可是然而呢，最初第一个出现的 the first 啊，第一个出现的这个桌游呢，它呢其实啊非常非常更老，甚至比这个一千四百年前还要再老呢。So any piece that you find in a board game, we call it a board game piece. 嗯哼，这个 piece 为什么在这边用这个单位呢？因为我们在玩桌游的时候，里面可能需要很多的组件呐、啊。那里面每一个啊，它的材料或组件，我们就是用一个 piece 来算。Okay, some were found in a burial mound in southern Turkey and are at least five thousand years old. 好，那到底它有多老啊？哇，有一些甚至被找出来的时候 were found 被发现的时候是在一个怎么样被埋起来的人家那个坟冢里面哈。然后呢，它的地点呢是在土耳其的比较南边的地方。那甚至呢，还有一些至少已经有多少年？同学，五千年的历史了。The game of backgammon was invented around the same time in Persia. 好，那么接下来就是呢，有另外有一组这个呃桌游呢，它的名字叫做西洋双陆棋。哈，那这个游戏呢，它那个时候呢出现的时间，被发明的时间呢，大概是在这个波斯帝国那个时候出出现的啊。Okay, so invented is another way to say was made or was created. C R E A T E, create. 嗯哼 ，invent， 同学都知道这个字叫创造、发明，所以可以等于刚才 Stephen 老师讲的另外两个动词。And around the same time is talking about around the same time as in southern Turkey, which we talked about in the last sentence. 嗯哼，这边所谓的 around that same time， 这个 same time 到底是哪一个相同的时期呢？就是刚才前面我们所提到的，在土耳其那个时候发现的那个时间是差不多的。And Persia is an older name for the now country Iran. Oh, so Persia, it is now Persia. 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 Upper class 就是你的阶级是比较上层的，可能你比较家里有钱啦，或你的地位你是贵族啦等等的，你才有这个机会啊，在 China， 在中国大陆这个地方呢，你才有机会可以开始玩什么 Mahjong。So other than upper class, there's middle class and lower class. 嗯，我们除了有上层阶级，当然有中层跟下层阶级。And mahjong is directly translated from Chinese. There's no English word. 对，好，所以麻将这个字的发音哈，就是从我们的中文麻将，所以念成麻将。Let's take a break. Okay, 我们休息一下喽。India too is a place that is rich in board game history. 嗯，我们现在讲到另外一个国家呢，就是印度了。印度呢也，哎，你说老师这个也怎么放在这儿呢？当然它有一种强调的意味。其实原本我们把也通常放在句子的尾巴哈，比较常见的。好，印度呢也是一个地方。这个地方呢 ，that is rich in。同学，这个 that is rich in 这边就是它的形容词子句，用这个冠带 that 所引导出来的，就是在什么方面有。有非常丰富的，丰富的什么呢 ？Board game history， 它的历史也非常的丰富。If you think two is very awkward in this sentence in the beginning, yes, like Bernice Lawson also said, you can put it at the very end, or you can use the word also. It's also very acceptable. 嗯，另外呢，如果你觉得同学你在写 two， 你说老师我放在句首觉得好不习惯，那么你可以用另外一个词叫做 also， 也，它也是叫也是的意思。
Snakes and Ladders, a morality-based game, was invented in the region around 200 BC. 好，接下来我们要讨论一个桌游的这个游戏呢，它叫做蛇梯棋。哇，你看有蛇，蛇蛇爬出来了，还有很多梯子要爬来爬去的哈。那这个棋呢，它这个 board game 主要是一个怎么样呢 ？Morality-based game， 就是用道德为基础的。什么意思呢？就是呢，它主要发生的啊。发现的时间呢，或者是创造出来的时间呢，是在这个 region， 在这个地区里面。这个地区呢，主要是在两百年前，哈，西元两百年前所出来的。So we see in the region, we know we're talking about India from the previous sentence. So it's just another way to say India. 嗯哼，对他这边用的 region 这个地区这个字来代替刚才前面我们提到的印度这个国家。Snakes and ladders was one of my favorite games. As a oh really?、Mm -hmm. Wow, you, I don't know how to play that. You have a couple of dice. You throw <laughs> uh -huh, it, and then uh -huh. depending on where you land, if you land、uh -huh. on a ladder, you get to、uh -huh. climb up. Oh. If you land on a snake, you have to go back down. Oh, okay. 好，所以有点像那个玩大富翁的感觉哈，就是你丢骰子出去，然后呢，如果你丢到了刚好是有梯子的，你就可以往上爬。那如果是蛇蛇的话，你就丢丢丢就滑下来了。So you can say throw the dice, or you can say toss the dice. T O S S. They both mean to throw, but toss it feels like it's more like a casual kind of movement. Okay. 所以你可以用丢骰子这个丢啊，你可以用 throw 这个字或者是 toss。那 toss 有点好像就是哎。很很随性的，这样这样丢出去的。Chess, meanwhile, got its start there in the sixth century. 嗯哼，好，那这个呃游戏呢，就是在这个期间呢 ，chess 就是我们在讲西洋棋这个东西。西洋棋在这个同一个期间呢，它也同时也开始了。OK, got its start 就是也开始了。然后它的时间呢，大概是在六世纪的时候，也在印度这个地方出现哦。So start here is used as a noun and got its start. So we could also use it as a verb by saying started there. So it's just two different ways to say the same thing. 嗯，在这边呢，这个 start 是名词。那同学知道开始这个字 start 也可以当动词。所以同样一个句子，我们也可以用 start there， 在那边开始了。And in case you think meanwhile is a little confusing, it's the same way to say at the same time. So chess at the same time got its start there in the sixth century. So that's a good way for you to know how to use meanwhile. 嗯哼 ，meanwhile 一样叫同时在同一个时期，所以你也可以用 at the same time 来表示哈，两个都可以。Indeed, many of the games we enjoy today can trace their roots back centuries or even thousands of years. 好，他说呢 ，indeed 就是的确是这个样子，真的是这个样子啊、哦。其实呢，有许许多多的这个 board games 是我们在今天所玩的。都可以追踪回去，同学 trace 就是你的足迹可以追回去 ，OK， 追回去他们的根，就是他们原本的起源地，回到呢 centuries 好几世纪之前，或者甚至好几千年以前。So indeed, at the beginning of the sentence is to emphasize a description, so it's emphasizing what follows after. 嗯哼 ，indeed 这个字放在句首，表示的确真的是这个样子。那主要它是在强调你接下来要说的这个句子。And then trace, you can also use track or follow. 嗯哼 ，trace 这个字呢，也可以用另外两个字 track 跟 follow， 都是表示往回啊，去追踪的意思就对了。Roots, you can also use the beginnings. Okay, roots 这个字就是根部哈。那另外一个用法，你可以用那个 beginnings， 就是一开始的时候。And centuries, if you don't want to use that word, you could also say. Can trace their roots back hundreds of years, or even thousands of years. So hundreds of years is also acceptable. 嗯，好，我们除了用 centuries 这个字表示世纪，你也可以用 hundreds 表示好几百年前或好几千年以前。所以 hundreds 别的忘记都要加 s 哈， hundreds or thousands of 后面再加你的时间。So it seems like we learned a lot about board game history today.、Mm -hmm, 没错。So now let's get into the review section. Okay. So let's start the review. 嗯，我们现在开始复习一下今天的课程哦。Boring. Boring 这个字叫无聊的。Mobile games or mobile games. 好，就是行动装置的这个游戏。Require. 需要。Sharp mind. 呃、uh, ，灵敏的心智。Strategy. 策略。Take a journey. 去旅行。Pastime. 消遣娱乐。Date back to, 追溯回去 
made of stone. 由什么所组成的 ？Invent. 创造、发明。Upper class. 上层阶级。Is rich in. 在什么方面非常的丰富？ The opposite, you can't say and poor in. Okay. <laughs> 好，那相反的，你可以把 rich 改成 poor. And morality based. 啊、uh, ，以道德为基础的 Century. 世纪 Trace back. 追溯到 Roots. 啊、uh, ，根部 So we're talking about board games, right?、Mm-hmm. Board. This word sounds like the word. Board like B O R D. Yeah. So a lot of times, people that don't like board games, they'll call it board games, but they mean like B O R E D. Oh, okay. 好，所以呢，老师说它的发音其实一样的。B O A R D 这个字的发音念成 board， 跟另外一个我们人觉得好无聊哦那个字也是一样的发音的方式。Well, I can't wait to learn more about board games. So make sure to tune in tomorrow. All right. 嗯，我们现在等不及，同学有没有觉得跃跃欲试，想要？知道到底这些桌游，他们还有一些什么样的这个呃，可以不一样的东西介绍在里面呢？我们现在呃，希望同学可以保持我们这个频道，可以好好再继续往下听哦。See you tomorrow. OK， 明天见喽。第二十二页，休闲小站，开玩桌游 ，Board games, far from boring. Video games are great, but there's something special about playing a board game with friends. Board games lead to conversation, require a sharp mind and strategy, and are just plain fun to play. Let's take a journey through the past and present of this popular pastime. One thing you need to play most board games is a set of dice. These date back to ancient Greece around the year 1400 BC. The first ones were made of stone, clay, wood, or bone. However, the first board game pieces are even older. Some were found in a burial mound in southern Turkey and are at least 5,000 years old. The game of backgammon was invented around that same time in Persia. A thousand years later, people of the upper class in China started playing mahjong. India too. Is a place that is rich in board game history. Snakes and Ladders, a morality-based game, was invented in the region around 200 BC. Chess, meanwhile, got its start there in the sixth century. Indeed, many of the games we enjoy today can trace their roots back centuries or even thousands of years.